There's one story that I tell people. That's it. I only need one, really. That is so effective and so amazing. I leave everyone speechless. And it's not necessarily because Nahal's such a good storyteller, even though she is. It really is the nature of the story. And the story is a poem that was written in 1177 AD. It's an old poem. Can you imagine any written work lasting the span of the earth time for that long? And it is really about, the story is about the, a conference of birds, birds coming together. Ooh, look at that, birds wearing a bird shirt. This was not planned. And one of the birds came together, millions of birds gathered, and the hoopoe is a bird that has like a crown, beautiful black and white feathers, orange chest, gorgeous, came to say, who shall rule us all? And he said that <coughs> legend has it that there is a phoenix in several cities by. And if we were to go and travel together, we would need to go through seven cities. And he went on to describe these seven cities. And by the mere recounting of the story, of just the journey, of the difficulties that they would go through, all the some of the birds fainted and they were like, what? No way. I'm not going with you. And others were like, wait, we have some trepidation. We have some questions. Once he answered everyone's questions, about a thousand birds came with him onto this journey of the seven valleys. And this is kind of like a mystical, symbolic story of actually traveling all of the journeys of the soul. This is why it is so timeless, because it is relevant to every single human being who is on this planet and why we're here. They traveled, they traveled, travel, and just as the hoopoe described, in each of the valleys, one of the birds, like, and they all kind of represent different ones, like the peacock got stuck in the valley of love, in the city of love, that it was just like so enamored with its own beauty that it didn't travel further. And this kind of like shows us, like as human beings, the traps that we get into, that because of beauty that we get stuck on past to not evolve our soul. Ooh, big ones. <clears throat> they go, go, go all the way to the seventh city. Finally, they're at the, at the place where they can see the Phoenix, the Seymour. And this is a Persian poem. So Seymour in Farsi is Phoenix. And see, there's a double meaning to it. Sea means 30, Mor means bird. When they arrived to the seventh city, there was only 30 birds left. Okay? See more. 30 birds. And all they saw was a mirror in that city. And in that mirror, basically what they saw was 30 birds. See more. The phoenix. The legend. The object of their desire. And in this poem, basically the analogy is that in this life, all we are searching for is the reflection of our own selves. And that is all that we are looking for always. And by traveling together on this journey of love, we find that reflection that we've always been looking for. In 1863, somebody, this was a Sufi poet who wrote this book. So a Sufi believer went and asked a manifestation of God, Baha'u'llah. In 1863, if the story has actually any validity to it, <clears throat> Baha'u'llah then went on to write a second book called The Seven Valleys, which was basically describing even further the seven journeys, valleys, the troughs that the soul has to go through, not the mountains, but the valleys, in between the mountains, the low parts, the dips in life that we need to go through and wrote a remix book on that basically and it's called the seven valleys and it's so gorgeous and beautiful i have decided to use the seven valleys book themes to combine it with the pure breath program and i really 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 look forward to conducting it live january 9th to april 30th and if you'd be interested to